Hey, my name is Lexi, and today I wanted to talk to you about tilapia versus salmon. Now, these are both delicious types of fish. Now, let me be real with you and tell you how this came to be. I was trying to cook lunch today, and I couldn't decide, did I want tilapia or did I want salmon? So, ding, 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 I decided to cook both. Now, when I was cooking both, I was thinking, I wonder which one's healthier for you. So I did all the research, and that's what I'm going to talk about it with you here today. So here are my final products of my fish. This is my tilapia, and that is my salmon. Now, I will tell you what I crusted and seasoned them with at the end, but until then, I want you to hear all the facts first. So for the tilapia, you'd be surprised, or maybe not so surprised, that it is lower in calories. Now, looking comparing them both at 100 grams of fish, the tilapia is at 129 calories. Meanwhile, your salmon is at 208 calories. Now, the next part is really, really, really mind-blowing to me. Which one do you think has more protein? Did I give you enough time? The tilapia. The tilapia has more protein. I was really surprised to find that. At 26 grams, meanwhile the other one's at 20 grams. Um, and that is, again, for 100 grams of the fish. Can you believe that? Well, if you continue to research, I started to think about many other things that are incorporated in fish. And so some of you may have read an article that talks about how tilapia is worse for you than bacon. False. What it was talking about was cholesterol. Now, some of the things that it did find in that study were pretty informative, so I do want to share that. It talks about how the tilapia has far less omega-3 fatty acids than the other fish like salmon. Now, fatty three acids, omega-3 acids, are really important for us. The omega-3s and the omega-6 are important for us because they help with anti-inflammatory properties. And these anti-inflammatory properties play a critical role in brain development and cognitive functions, and they help prevent disease like Alzheimer's and diabetes. And so, the one that actually has more of these omega-3s is the salmon. So although this is less in, smaller in calories and higher in protein, um, your salmon has more of the omega-3 properties that are going to help you with good health. So in the long run, what do I recommend? Which one's better, the salmon or the tilapia? I think it's up to you. I say you eat them both like me. No, I think it's up to you just because um, no matter what, fish is definitely a really good alternative for your protein. It's healthy for you. It has a lot of the nutrition that you need, and it is very low in fat. Now, Let's talk about how to season your fish. For the tilapia, um, my roommate recently purchased like a chicken and fish seasoning. So that's all I did. I just seasoned that on there. I didn't add vegetable oil, no butter, none of that. And I just baked it in the oven. Your temperature should be at 375, 345 if you feel like your fish is burning up. But no, um, I don't dethroth, defrost mine that much. Um, so cook it in there. 345 or 375 for your fish. Now, let me tell you about the salmon. What did I do for that seasoning? This is just brown sugar and cinnamon. Um, no butter, nothing on there. Well, you notice with the whites, that's just like the fat removing or coming off of the fish. It just cooks um, from the salmon. But I put nothing on there because it will caramelize with the heat. Your brown sugar will caramelize. So those are your two options if you want to season. I always use garlic salt. If I just want to use garlic salt, you could just have garlic salt and lemon. You can use something that's prepackaged with seasonings. Or you can try something sweet like brown sugar and cinnamon. So I hope that it helps you. I'm sure it makes you hungry. If I'm honest, it definitely makes me hungry. I've been smelling this fish making this video. And I really wanted some. But so I'm Lexi. If you like what you see, check out the other videos. I talk about a ton of other things. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And check out our maketheworldmove.org website. Um, and until then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.